Phytoplasmas are insect-vectored bacteria that cause disease in a wide range of plant species. They are responsible for various forms of coconut lethal yellowing-like diseases. Numerous outbreaks of LYLDs of coconut have been recorded in Central America, the Caribbean and Africa since the late 19th century, and more recently in the Pacific region. This short movie presents the sampling procedure used by CIRAD to collect sample from coconut palms suspected to be affected by lethal yellowing-like diseases caused by phytoplasmas. The preliminary step is to prepare the collection tubes in the laboratory. A small 10 gram sachet of silicagel is introduced in the tube, which will remain well closed until the collection of the sample. We generally use 50 ml falcon tubes, but it is also possible to use small plastic bottles, such as those used for urine analysis in medical labs. The reference of the silicagel sachet we use is ZEOCHEM Rubingal 1/3. Sampling must be conducted according to the following protocol. First, when arriving at the foot of the palm to be sampled, spray bleach 12 degrees onto the stem using a sprayer. This will enable the bleach to act during the time taken to prepare the drill. Fill in the sampling form and annotate the collection tube. Take the GPS position of the sample. This can be done either with a GPS or with a cell phone. a sterilized or well-cleaned bit into the drill. Spray medical alcohol 70% onto the drill bit and sterilize it using the blowtorch. Allow the drill bit to cool down for a few minutes. Alternatively, and to avoid all these cleaning steps for the drill bit and knife, it would be easier for each collector to go into the field with a set of 10 to 15 cleaned drill bits. Fourth, rinse the stem with water contained in a squeeze bottle. This water must be replaced every day of sampling. Fifth, use a clean knife to remove a square of the cleaned bark measuring 10 by 10 centimeters. If the bark is very hard, a machete can be used to remove a top layer of bark and then cleaned again and use the knife. 
the bark should be removed with a straight cut without sawing. Sixth, drill into the stem with care for one centimeter and remove the sawdust. The drill and drill bit have to be in the same axis. Seventh, open the collection tube and place it under the hole and drill to collect about 20 to 25 milliliters of sawdust up to one centimeter of the top. During our survey, we use 8 to 10 M special wood drill bits of 25 to 30 centimeters. These drill bits are very good because the sawdust does not stay on the bit. Such drill bits will not bend like the 8mm ones sometimes do when drilling. Immediately close the tube. Eight, remove the drill without touching the contaminated part and put it in a recipient or a plastic bag with the used knife to clean it later. Ninth, and except for palms to be cut down, close the hole made with the drill after sampling with a small piece of wood. In the first days following collection, the collection tube containing the sawdust must be shaken carefully and repeatedly to prevent the upper layer from forming an agglomerate. In that way, all the sawdust will dry. If the samples cannot be sent to the lab the same day, they must be preferably stored in the shade at 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. For instance, do not keep the samples for several days in a car in the sun. Researchers can also use the same samples to study the DNA of coconut trees and carry out genetic diversity studies. When all administrative and quarantine formalities have been completed, samples collected in this way must be sent to a research laboratory. About a dozen laboratories around the world are equipped to perform phytoplasma analyses in coconut palms. The contact of the CIRAD lab is given at the end of the film. We hope that this movie, by facilitating the diagnosis, 
will contribute to reduce the palm losses due to lethal yellowing-like diseases. We have here one of our Papua New Guinea variety. We call Spicata orange. We are in uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, in a part of a country called uh, New Britain Island. We see coconut uh, seed garden blocks. And here in front of me uh, is a dual variety called uh, Mandan Brown Dwarf.